Hey there, coffee lovers. Logan here, professional barista for MajestyCoffee.com. Today we're here unboxing the Super Jolly Espresso Grinder from Mazer. Let's get started. All right, so without further ado, let's break into this. So opening it up from the side, we've got your manual here, and we also have a warning that notes that this is just a commercial grinder not intended for home use. Over here, we have this metal piece that holds your portafilter. Over here, we have a nice heavy tamp that's very nice that it comes with that. And if you're at home watching this, I suppose this is the actual correct way to open this box as the arrows indicate, but all right. Very carefully lifting this uh, body of the grinder up onto my bar. The whole thing weighs about 31 pounds, so it's a very solid build quality. And our last piece here is the 2.7 pound hopper, which is really great for cafe use and holds a lot of beans. All right, so let's take everything out of its packaging here and get this all set up for you. So this here is gonna be our silver and chrome version, which looks really sleek and nice on any countertop. There is a little screw up here that will hold your hopper into place. So just loosen that to place your hopper in, and then you can retighten so it doesn't move around. Your standard three prong power cord here, and this does run a 350 watt motor. So a nice powerful motor powers your 64 millimeter flat steel burrs, which run about 1600 RPMs. All right, so here we are all set up here. The last thing is to take this other metal piece and decide where you'd like to place it on your stepless micrometric adjustment dial. And that kind of allows you to move it around easier while you're grinding espresso, trying to make your grind finer or coarser. So we're just attaching this little handle here, screw it in place. And now you can rotate that around much easier. So as stated, this grinder has awesome 64 millimeter flat steel burrs running a 350 watt motor. So packs a lot of power. And then it goes about 1600 RPMs, which means about 10 seconds for a double shot of espresso. This grinder has a really solid build quality, a really sleek design that will look nice on your counter. Down below this really cool fork feature that also has a rest for your portafilter arm so it won't shift around as you're grinding into it and you can do hands-free grinding. Up top here on the control panel, you have a single double dose button, a continuous dosing button that you can also use as a purge feature or just to add a little bit extra espresso if you don't quite meet your weight requirements. There is a menu button for programming and there's also a plus and minus for adjusting your doses and navigating through the menu. This top piece actually comes off to reveal inside a finger guard, which you can remove if you need to access for cleaning. This is a really nice chamber and actually doesn't collect too much static and provides a very consistent dose each time. There's also a really nice, very bright digital timer up here that will show you all of your menu options, shot time timers, etc. So up top here near that hopper, we do have an adjustable chute here that goes in and out to allow you to remove your hopper and clean it out or replace with a different espresso. You also have that stepless micrometric adjustment, which is really nice for being able to fine tune your espresso and really get down to some fine grinding. The provided doses on this machine are fully programmable so you can program in a time for a single or a double, etc. This is an on-demand grinder, so there won't be any buildup in this chamber here, and it provides a very consistent dose each time. The Super Jolly is a really awesome, robust workhorse machine. I've used it in one of the busiest cafes I've ever worked in, and let me just tell you, it was a joy to work with. Though it is suggested if you are a very high volume cafe, you not use this as your sole grinder because your burrs do tend to get very hot, which leads to more inconsistent dosing. But if you're a small to medium sized cafe, then this grinder will do just fine. The simplicity of use and the really nice sleek design are some highlights of this grinder that make it very practical for your cafe. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Mazer Super Jolly Espresso Grinder. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the full review and other great videos. 
If you'd like to take a look at this machine, head on over to our website, majestycoffee.com, where our friendly customer support is standing by via live chat or phone to help you make the right decision. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.